I knew we got your attention a couple of moments ago. So what exactly are these bears doing? It's a question that has a downtown neighborhood talking. If you drive past worldwide news in the city, you can't miss it. A new towering mural with two bears, one on top of the other. Good evening, I'm Don Alhart. And I'm Jenny Ryan. Whether they're sleeping or doing something else is at the core of a debate among the neighbors there in 13 Wham's. Adam Chodak is live. A lot of buzz about the bears, and um, I can see both sides of this uh, debate, Adam. Yeah, Ginny, when we pulled up, we took out the camera. People knew exactly why we were here. Word of this mural had made its way through social media and the St. Paul neighborhood. So I just always loved it, and I, I the lie on the floor and draw and sketch, and so I always wanted to be an artist. I don't know why. From his Rochester studio, Jack Walski embraces the abstract. And I just sit down and kind of wing it. Leaving his work. The painting leads me open to interpretation. I'm a champion of art, I love art. But what he can't get behind oh, God. <laughs> is what he sees when he walks across the hall into his apartment and opens the blinds. You see it, you get hit by it, and everybody just has the same thing, what's going on? Certainly not what his bears are doing. One of his neighbors gave the pose a number. Well, I never knew what they meant, and a couple of people have given it the nickname that it's actual a sexual act going on. And in the gallery, it's wonderful. But to present it on a wall in the city of Rochester, brute art, I mean, it's just so out of context. It doesn't make sense. He initially cheered the project. The mural next to Worldwide News was one of several going up all over the city. World-renowned mural artists were brought in for the project, dubbed Wall Therapy. This kills it all for me. All I can see is that damn bear. <laughs> Steven Steven was finishing up his mural when asked about the bears. He says the Belgian artist behind the mural, Roa, had but one interpretation in mind. I followed his work for, for many years. Uh, he, what he has done explicit pieces, and when he does explicit pieces, they're explicit. Um, I think we need to just accept that they're sleeping bears. Here's what neighbor Robert Dorch had to say. Some people have, you know, wild imaginations, but... Uh, I love art, period, you know, and uh, I see a mama bear with a, uh, maybe a half-grown cub sleeping on her stomach. Wolski wishes he saw the same thing. Instead, he wants the perceived promiscuity painted over. You know, it's no big deal, and I think that's what should happen. Despite calls to let sleeping bears lie. Now, the organizer of wall therapy told me this evening this controversy is just heartbreaking, saying that these bears are intended to be tranquil and tame. Reporting live from Rochester, Adam Chodak, 13 Wham News.